I know the justice system works uh, slowly and methodically, and uh, I think they'll get it right. Friends of the man killed when a suspected drunk driver plowed through a Cape Coral pool hall over the summer, patiently waiting as the suspect takes another step toward trial. 75-year-old William Gulliver sitting through a case management hearing today. He is charged with DUI manslaughter after investigators say he rammed his pickup truck into Diamond Billiards pool hall, killing 60-year-old Ron Gravel and injuring two others. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg was at today's proceedings and stopped by the pool hall afterward to see how they've been doing since they reopened. Lisa? Well, Patrick, a longtime patron of Diamond Billiards and a friend of Ron Gravel's tells me they've remodeled and upgraded the place in homage to a man so many called a brother. They even placed a Christmas tree at the spot of the bar where Gravel used to always sit. Looking at the front of Diamond Billiards now, you would never guess this black pickup rammed through the entrance just five months ago, destroying the inside of the pool hall, reducing the bar area to rubble, and killing Diamond Billiards cook Ron Gravel. It's like a brotherhood, and Ronnie was one of the best guys that was always willing to help everybody. Even though the physical signs of damage may have been repaired, longtime patron Kurt Kacharzik tells me the holes in their hearts still aren't fixed. It was heartbreaking to come back into Diamonds after they opened and uh, there was a lot of emotions going around. There still is after the, these months after uh, that tragedy that happened. The man charged in this tragedy, 75-year-old William Gulliver, pleading not guilty, appearing in court today for a case management hearing. His attorney telling the judge they're still waiting on some evidence and there will be some expert witnesses involved in the case. There are some potential motions down the line. Police say the night of the crash, Gulliver had a blood alcohol level five times the legal limit as he drove full throttle into the building, pinning patrons against the bar. According to the police report, bartenders kicked him out for groping women and acting sloppy. As Gulliver, his wife, and his attorney left today's hearing, none were wanting to speak with me. Would any of you be interested in answering any questions? No, not at this time. Knowing Gulliver's case is moving along through the system, Kacharzik says he's confident the justice system will get it right and is still dealing with the heartbreak. From my point, it's just, it's a lot of pain and a lot of hurt that just goes on because of uh, somebody that you loved and cared about is no longer around. Now, Gulliver's next court appearance is scheduled for late next month, and you can stick with Four in Your Corner for updates on this case. Live in the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Lisa.